They got dirty air and we're up the inside of Gasly and a little bit of contact. 0.9, but we get a slide. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. What is going on? It is me, T7 Gaming, here with another episode. Today we are playing F1 2021. It is the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Um, I'm going to be with the McLarens as Lando Norris. And we are at 100% AI difficulty. So here we go. So we're off to a decent start. Not the best. Oh, big slidey action right there. And we're going to go for the dive bomb into turn one. Must be done. Must be done. We're going to try to go around the outside of Vettel here. But right as we get there, he just brake checks us. And yeah, we can't have any of that. So let's try again. <laughs> and it's attempt number two. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Hopefully we get off to a better start this time. It's looking good, it's looking good. And we're already side by side with Vettel. Sonoda has a flying start. We get right up his inside. Side by side with him, trying to keep up, trying to keep up. Looks like we're gonna get past him with a little bit of difficulty right there, but Gasly's up ahead and that's our focus. So let's get past Sonoda. Just like that, super easy, super easy to be done. Now we're going to try to catch up to Gasly, but right there, that's the turns. When they're all caught up like that, they all have a whole bunch of dirty air. So those high-speed turns are one of my greater opportunities to catch up to them, especially when there's a gap there because all of them, they got dirty air and we're up the inside of Gasly and a little bit of contact, but it's okay. We get the job done, but this is going to become crucial towards the end. You can see I'm checking my damage. It doesn't look like there's any damage, but... I don't know, right here I'm already starting to notice something's not entirely right, but it's all good because we're going to try to catch up to Sainz. And here we are at the end of lap two and we are right up the back of Carlos Sainz. We're going to try to use some overtake here and try to get him down the inside maybe. Maybe, there we go. Right there, but I got scared last second. I thought he was going to turn in on me, but he gave me the space, so I kind of missed opportunity, but it's all good. We're going to use a little bit of overtake turn off real quick get side by side with him but it's just not enough so we're gonna turn over take right back on and now we're gonna make easy work of it but just a little bit deep a little bit late on the brakes it's all good though now time to catch up to our teammate which as you'll see will prove to be a difficult challenge over here we see ricardo pass alonzo on lap four now we're on lap five and I'm 0.8 seconds away from Alonzo, just trying to catch up. Now we're at lap seven. This is what the middle of the race just looked like for me. And Sainz is on my behind. And I am glad that he's pitting right there. You can see that he went into the pits right there. Makes my job a little bit easier. No pressure from behind. You can focus on what's ahead. I'm trying to catch Alonzo. You can see I'm super late on the brakes, barely making the turns, pushing really hard. I'm confident with my pace. You can see I'm green there and just really pushing hard, really pushing hard. There's Jeff telling me that I'm increasing the gap behind. That's good news. Yeah, you can just see that these turns, I'm just like struggling. The steering angle, this, the amount of steering angle that I'm putting in is just ridiculous. Just exceeding track limits, you know, just trying my best to keep it together. And yeah, something is just not right with the car. And I don't know what it is. It's looking all green. And I'm starting to get a little bit frustrated because all I want to do is catch to the back of Alonzo. But I'm, I just can't do it. I just can't do it. So here we go. We're just going to follow along here for a few laps. You can see that I'm actually gaining on him, but not significantly. And yeah, we're just struggling, man. We're out of ERS deployment. You know, we're towards the end of our tire life. You can see we were supposed to lap on lap five. And we're here on lap eight and I'm pushing really hard. These guys up ahead, they've been, you know, they're on the same strategy as me basically. So I'm basically, this is what the plan is. The plan right now is we're gonna try to go one lap further because I'm confident in my pace. And you'll see right here, Alonso and Ricardo go into the pits. I'm staying out, which is super risky, but you can see I'm doing well on the pace so far. I'm feeling good. Last lap I had pretty solid pace. And right here, this is, Turn one, you know, it's, it's, it's where I was affirmed. Right here, you can see I'm in the green only barely. So I really got to keep it together. Really got to keep it perfect. Nice and tight there, but I'm losing time, losing time, losing time, losing time, losing time. And right here, ooh, 
wide, wide, and the penalty. So now it's like everything, all the hard work that we just put in, it's almost done. So a little bit disappointing here right at the end of the pit straight. I was hoping to take advantage of that. I decided to go ahead and just box. But thankfully, my thought process here was, you know what? Worst case scenario, we'll have the stronger tires at the end of the race. So hopefully we can come out after the pits, you know, with some determination and, you know, some some speed. Yeah, my pace is just awful. Just minus one second, not doing well at all. Here we are at the end of lap nine. Finally, boxing going in strong hoping not to get a penalty and i didn't i tend to have a struggle with the penalties in the pit lane for some reason and over here this is what i was shocked about i was actually pretty mad you can't really tell but yeah apparently i needed a front wing change and i'm not shocked by it and i'm kind of glad about it but it just put me in the worst you know track position and you can see here i'm kind of side by side with leclerc there there's a three second time penalty on my hands and right now if the race were to end right now that would put me in p12 which is not good and probably honestly p14 so that's not good at all we want to get some speed so from now till the end of the race we're just going to keep our heads down but Lewis Hamilton is on the side of the road. He's out of the session right up ahead. So I'm hoping at this point that maybe we can get a VSC, maybe a safety car, ideally a safety car. But, you know, by now we would probably have seen that. So it's looking like we're going to stay green flag conditions. Just got to safely remove Lewis Hamilton's car. Now we're at the end of lap 12, starting our final lap. As you can see, the gap to Leclerc is two seconds. Let's see if we can't make it three seconds on the final lap of the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Here we go into turn one. Let's see how we're doing. It's not looking too great, but we're hanging on there. These tires, they're pretty fresh, only four laps old, five, you know, three laps old. Let's see how we're doing on this turn. We're pushing, we're pushing, we're pushing. You can see that we're flying but it's just not quite enough right now. We cut the corner there, helps us out with our time, but not so great, especially when we already have a penalty. We're in the green now with our, with our lap times and we are pushing, we are pushing, we are pushing, but it's not really doing too much, but we're 2.5 up almost, 2.4, 2.5, and we are pushing, we are pushing, so that's half a second. Let's see if in the next two sectors we can't get another half seconds, but we're drawing back 2.3 2.4 2.5 so that's good maybe 2.6 can we get 2.6 but no the straightaway is just not going to give us what we need we're at the end of sector two max verstappen has won the grand prix so the race is basically over but we're still pushing we're still trying to get it we're at 2.7 right now we're almost there let's see what we can do on this turn let's see let's see let's see late on the brakes super late and we're 2.9 but we get a slide no almost good but no 2.7 seconds so it looks like the best that we can extract is going to be p9 but that is my saudi arabian grand prix charles leclerc driver of the day you'll see right here i think i had a better race though but thank you guys for tuning in make sure to like and subscribe i'll see you guys next time